Larry Sanders, a spokesperson for the Green Party about health and social care. Let's talk about austerity. Now there is a, a problem, a very serious problem about uh, uh, social services in Britain because uh, every day we hear uh, news about uh, new cuts, uh, new uh, services in, uh, uh, under, under threat of cuts. Uh, now, what's the reality? Are we too scared or maybe the worst is still to come? Uh, well, it's right to be scared. The, the plan is to break down the, uh, the health service. The, the social care is, is very heavily already uh, damaged. Uh, the health service not so much, but it's within the next three or four years it will be, unless something drastic happens. This evening we speak about, uh, also we talk about uh, uh, the military expenses because uh, Trident uh, is uh, very expensive. It is the, it is the system of uh, nuclear defense uh, and uh, you, of course, uh, said many times that it is not uh, useful, but how to defend Britain in other way? Well, certainly the, the Trident is not a defense. Who would we defend ourselves again with, with Trident? Uh, the 9-11 terrorists uh, did their planning in Frankfurt. We wouldn't want to bomb Frankfurt. Uh, we wouldn't want to bomb Syria with uh, nuclear weapons. We wouldn't want to bomb Russia with nuclear weapons. Uh, the th so it's a useless uh, part of uh, of any kind of defense thing. It is, it is essentially some kind of symbol uh, that, uh, of strength, of importance in the world that the, uh, uh, the establishment in Britain holds on to very dearly. In the USA, uh, Trump uh, won the election. Now, uh, many people are afraid around the world what could be the fallout in terms of uh, attacks on uh, diversity, on uh, also climate change uh, policies and uh, other matters. Uh, I think, uh, of course, you are, you are not happy with this uh, election, but uh, what are the main mistakes uh, of uh, the Democrats? Well, I think that the main thing that which has been pointed out many times is that Hillary Clinton represented a, a side of the Democratic Party which has been very closely aligned with the big banks and with the large corporations. And it was precisely that element which large parts of the country were returning against. Uh, and Bernard Sanders, my brother's campaign, uh, won tremendous uh, enthusiasm, particularly from young people. And Hillary Clinton represented something which not very many people were interested in and many people were uh, fed up with. First of all, the health service had been, to a large extent, not to a large extent, but substantially privatized. But there are several things wrong with that. First of all, privatizing is very bad for a health service because it creates an immediate conflict of interest for every clinician. He has to think, he or she has to think, is this good for my employer? Is this good for our profit line? If we do not succeed in terms of profit, we do not succeed. This business, this hospital, this surgery goes out of business. And the second thing is to create a structure in which privatization can take place is very expensive. It costs us something like five billion pounds a year just to have that structure in place. And the second thing that I want to add to that is this is where my concern about the Labour Party and John McDonnell and Jeremy Corbyn comes in. If you want to ask me is the Labour Party committed to restoring the money that needs to be restored to have a viable health service? And do you know what the answer to that is? The answer is no. I was on a radio program with Diane Abbott, and I put it to her. I had seen it in the newspaper the week before, a couple of months ago, and it had said there that the Labour Party, that this is, this is Diane Abbott, this is not the, the pathetic parliamentary Labour Party, this is the best end of the Labour Party. They were saying that they would maintain the same ratio between national income and, and NHS funding that there was at the moment. Shame. Now, if you have, and I said to, to Diane, who's a, who's a lovely woman of enormous history, yeah. I said to her, if you have Tory ratios, you will have Tory cuts. And she said, oh no, no, the Tories will cut it even further. And that is 
the height of that thing. So we have a situation in which the basic thing of, say, of having a health service which will be good enough for us and the people we care for and the rest of the people that we don't even know who we want to do well. That's at, at risk. So we're in the midst of a, a, of a, a system which for 40 years has been redistributing wealth. And redistribution was supposed to be a naughty word. They have been redistributing wealth from the bulk of the population to the rich. We have difficult problems at the best parts of our uh, political life. And we have threats, enormous threats, I think, the Donald Trump threat cannot be overestimated. And we have not yet got the fight back. I'm very pleased that my Green Party is improving, is growing in size. Our policies are all there. We will fill that gap, and we will tell you exactly how we will do it. And the whole idea of debt, I, we don't have the time to go into it now. It is a rubbish idea. We have the, the capacity to do all that we need to do. These businesses of debts and deficits are, are nonsense. But we don't yet have the beginning of a fight back. We have the beginning of it in America. My brother stands for something, and when he stands up, millions and millions of people are ready to listen to him. He didn't win, and, he, and, and the worst candidate did win. So there are huge dangers, and I don't want to underestimate them, but in America there is hope. I don't see that happening yet in this country. You in this room are a very small number, but you have to take that responsibility. You indeed are the hope. Thank you.